Lawrence Memorial Hospital now brings you better health. I think the first thing to understand is there's a difference between diverticulosis and diverticulitis. Diverticulosis are just when your colon has the little pockets. Not everybody does, but uh, the vast majority of people over the age of 65 and 70 are going to have some diverticulosis. If it gets inflamed, then it's diverticulitis. So a simple way to remember that is any time that you hear itis on the end of any word, it means either inflammation or infection. There's literature that was started back in the 40s and 50s and 60s that was primarily surgical literature that suggested you shouldn't eat popcorn and peanuts and anything with seeds and things like that with the thought that those kinds of things, if not digested well, can get down into the colon, get stuck in the diverticulum and cause the diverticulitis. That's pretty well been disproven with uh, uh, scientific studies showing it doesn't matter whether you eliminate those things from your diet or not. Now, the symptoms with diverticulitis are generally pain, uh, maybe a fever, change in your bowel pattern, and it's treated with antibiotics typically. Uh, if you wait too long, uh, the diverticulum, the little pocket, can rupture, and that's severe pain, usually in the emergency room because of it, get a CAT scan, you see a perforation, and then you need to go to surgery with that. Although there are some very micro perforations that can be managed medically. And in addition to the becoming inflamed with diverticulitis or perforated, uh, they can also bleed. And so those are the three complications associated with diverticulosis, infection, perforation, and bleeding.